Hello everyone, welcome to the WB Carousel Pro plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the image size, image mode, zoom, protection and more. Make sure the WB Carousel Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly really click on add new or you can click all carousels and then click add new to create a new carousel and give it a title. Before diving into the image related features, let's add a few images. Now go to the style settings configuration tab and scroll down at the bottom of the page to find the image related properties. You can set an image size from several options. If you need to add custom size then you can do so by selecting set custom size and set the width and height for the image. To get the proper image height on responsive devices use this option to set a maximum height. Below that you can set a border radius for the carousel images. The next feature is variable width. Variable width specifies the column width for the carousel images. It doesn't affect the resolution of the image. If this option is on, the number of column will be set depending on the image actual column width. Let's see how the carousel images are showing right now. Click show preview. And you can see the images are showing like this. I have set horizontal and vertical both images. Horizontal images are showing horizontally and vertical images are showing vertically. If you want to display them in the same size keeping their actual resolution, then you have to enable the variable width option. Before that, I would like to hide the image caption. So let's do this. Now let's enable the variable width. And now if I update the preview, then you can see the horizontal images are showing horizontally with their actual image size and the vertical images are showing vertically with their actual image size. Next one is lazy load. Enable lazy load to reduce the carousel load time. Set a zoom effect and image mode effect for the images. Let's select a zoom in effect and image mode as grayscale and normal on hover. Now if I update the preview, then you can see this is how it works. Next feature is watermark. If you don't want your website users to download and use your photos, then you can set an watermark over the photo. Enable the option and you will see a link to configure the watermark. Click on the link and it will take you to the plugin settings menu, then watermark. So I have already set an watermark image here. You just need to click on upload and then select an watermark image from your media. Configure the watermark position from several options margin, opacity, custom size, image quality and clean watermark cache. Don't forget to save the settings. Go back to the shortcut and click update preview. You can see the watermark is showing at the center of the image. Next one is image protection. If you don't want to let your photos downloaded by website visitors, then enable the image protection option. Click update preview. When I right click on the image, it is giving me an option to save the image. Now let's enable the image protection and update the preview. And now if I right click on the mouse over the image, then you can see the save image options has been removed. So this is how the image protection works. And finally, show head the image title attribute from here. Now let's publish the shortcut and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcut using the WP Carousel Pro button bar block. Publish the page and view it. So this is how the WP Carousel showcase display in the web pages. I hope you have got a clear idea about configuring the image size, mode, zoom, protection, watermark and more. That's all about today. In the next video, I'll come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.